New York City considered the most developed and densely populated city in the United States. New York City's skyline has changed dramatically in the past decade. One World Trade Center, completed in 2014, became the city's tallest building at 1, 776 feet. Hudson Yards, the city's new dollar 25 billion megadevelopment, has transformed Manhattan's west side. New supertall skyscrapers have risen along the southern edge of Central Park on Billionaire's Row. Parts of Brooklyn and Queens are also filling up with skyscrapers and starting to look more like Manhattan. We will show a comparison between skyscrapers in New York between 19-2024. New York City was the capital of the United States from 1785 until 1790. The modern city was formed by the 1 898 consolidation of its five boroughs, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Staten Island, and has been the largest U.S. city ever since. The Twin Towers remained the tallest buildings in New York City until they were destroyed in 2001, during the September 11 attacks, leaving the Empire State Building again as the city's tallest building. Clearly, a lot has changed in New York City since 2000. The 911 terror attack was a major turning point. Since then, tourism has surged to nearly 70 million visitors a year. And the number of people living and working here has hit records too. But there is a downside to New York's new popularity. Due to a lack of affordable living space, rents in some parts of the city are now at all-time highs. Some early skyscrapers have a steel frame that enables the construction of load-bearing walls taller than of those made of reinforced concrete. Modern skyscraper walls are not load-bearing, and most skyscrapers are characterized by large surface areas of windows made possible by steel frames and curtain walls. First was the Bank of Manhattan Trust building 71 floors. Next came the Chrysler building 77 floors. Finally, was the granddaddy of them all, the Empire State Building 102 floors. They were completed at the peak of a skyscraper construction spree that ran from 1925 to 1931. In contrast, New York skyscrapers were frequently narrower towers, which, more eclectic in style, were often criticized for their lack of elegance. In 1892, Chicago banned the construction of new skyscrapers taller than 150 feet 46 m, leaving the development of taller buildings to New York. The standard narrative of the birth and development of the skyscraper has always stressed steel replacing masonry, but today, concrete is employed in a range of structural systems, and a heavy concrete core is the standard feature of all supertalls. Technology and Infrastructure New buildings are often equipped with the latest technology and infrastructure, such as energy-efficient systems, smart building features, and sustainable design elements, while old buildings may require updates to meet modern standards. But what are the disadvantages of old buildings? Maintenance issues. Old buildings may require more frequent and costly maintenance due to aging infrastructure, such as plumbing, electrical systems, and structural integrity. Energy and efficiency. Older buildings may lack modern energy efficient features, leading to higher utility costs and environmental impact. But why are modern buildings better? Comfortable. Because of fewer things going around this architectural style, you'll feel more comfortable lying, sitting, and simply relaxing in a modern style home. In return, new uses for old buildings. Adaptive reuse can take many forms in architecture. Adaptive reuse refers to repurposing an existing structure for new use, such as turning vacant buildings into schools, public parks, offices, or apartments. But now New York is known for its iconic skyline, brimming with skyscrapers, high rises, and some of the most impressive architecture in the world. But it wasn't always that way. It took hundreds of years for New York City to become the structurally diverse, world-famous city that it is today. Today's New York skyline features many architectural styles, including the neoclassical 14 Wall Street, the Art Deco Chrysler Building, 
The Beaux Arts Manhattan Municipal Building, the Brutalist AT&T Long Lines Building, and so much more.